Ladies and gentlemen, this is your five minute call to broadcast. Five minute call to broadcast. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your three minute call to broadcast. Three minutes.
New York, online, sound checked, streaming. Sao Paulo, online, sound checked and streaming. Johannesburg, online, sound checked and streaming. London, online, sound checked, broadcasting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5,
they found a plain in Sheena and settled there. They said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, if as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come. Let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. world.
Meu nome é Gloire Londe, eu sou da República Democrática do Congo. Eu abri e fechei aspas na democracia porque a democracia no, na minha terra é uma pura utopia. Mas ela acaba mesmo quando você questiona os governantes. O presidente Kabila chamou os jovens congoleses de preguiciosos. Enquanto que no Congo não há emprego, saúde, escolaridade, ainda é luxo. Mas como assim vai chamar os jovens de preguiciosos? 2011, eu tenho 22 anos, eu sou jovem, mas não vejo mais futuro no meu país. O meu amigo Peter Amboriaba me liga para me dizer que ele está no Brasil. Aí eu pergunto, você está aí de férias? Não, diz ele, me mudei para cá para estudar. Aqui tem praia, o mar, mulheres lindas e também tem boas faculdades, você vai gostar. Depois eu fui na Embaixada do Brasil, lá no Congo, para pegar mais informações. Alguns meses depois eu consegui meu visto de estudante. Eu decido sair do Congo sem me despedir de muitas pessoas queridas, amadas, familiares, entre outros, meu tio e o irmão Guimpaba. Crescemos juntos, temos a mesma idade. Mas eu vou no Brasil, vou para o Brasil, sol, mar, praia, carnaval. Eu vejo que é um povo muito feliz, harmonioso, todo mundo misturado. Ao chegar no Brasil, alguns meses depois, eu fiquei sabendo do desaparecimento do meu tio, irmão, amigão, Guimpaba. 
Acontece que ele estava numa esquina, perto de casa, com um grupo de amigos, conversando de tudo de nada, quando, de repente, eles foram sequestrados pelos policiais. O comandante que deu a ordem para prender eles, até hoje, está solto. Também morreu no mesmo bairro. Nunca deu nenhuma satisfação na família para dizer aonde levaram os meninos, o Guimpaba e os seus amigos. Dois anos atrás, ficamos sabendo, descobriram de um buraco grande lá no Congo, na capital, onde tinha mais de 300 e poucos corpos. Não sabemos se o Guimpaba também foi morto e jogado lá com os amigos deles. Até hoje, não temos nenhuma informação sobre Guimpaba e seus amigos. Meu nome é Karina Bu. O Bu vem do meu avô, alemão, pai da minha mãe. Se ele ouve com essa pronúncia, me mata. É costume no Brasil os filhos ficarem com o sobrenome do pai. Mas eu, desde pequena, escolhi o sobrenome da minha mãe pelas coisas que eu ouvia dela em casa, que me fizeram ser feminista desde criança. Meu avô era seminarista na Alemanha. Era comum os filhos mais velhos das famílias católicas estudarem para virar padres. Em 1935, a poeira subindo lá de lá, a igreja resolveu mandar muitos deles em navios para várias partes do mundo. Meu avô foi parar em Pernambuco. Em algum momento, minha avó, Davina dos Santos, atravessou a vida dele. Um tempo depois, alemães e japoneses foram perseguidos no Brasil. Meu avô ficou preso um ano no que hoje é a Casa da Cultura, depois, minha avó passou dois anos presa junto com ele, no outro lugar. A guerra no meio, irmãos e irmãs do lado de lá do mar, irmão que não voltou da guerra. A guerra sempre foi um assunto presente na minha vida. Eu lembro, tem cenas que eu lembro como se eu tivesse vivido. Tio Werner, irmão do meu avô, com 16 anos, na Segunda Guerra, se cobrindo com cadáveres, corpos mortos do, durante o dia, ainda quentes, para não morrer de frio. Depois da guerra, o um muro. Tio Werner ficou do lado de lá do muro. Ele morreu um tempo desse, com 82 anos, lúcido. Ou como se diz na minha terra, nítido, nítido, nítido. Eu mandava cartas para o meu pai na Bahia, eu em Pernambuco. Meu avô trocava cartas com os irmãos na Alemanha. Meu pai recebia logo minhas cartas. E as do meu avô e dos irmãos demoravam... Viam a nado, atravessavam checagens, fronteiras, muros. Chegavam sem nenhuma personalidade e com poucas linhas. Está tudo bem aí? Aqui está ótimo. Em 1989, os primos perguntaram se eu não queria passar um ano lá. Meu pai teve condições de bancar as passagens. Meus primos me bancaram o resto do tempo que eu passei lá. O muro caiu quando eu estava lá. Eu tinha 15 anos. Bebi cerveja pela primeira vez. Comemorei com os meus a queda daquele trambolho que separou minha família por tanto tempo.
This tower was what I had seen in the, the magazines, the postcards, and that show we like to watch on TV. Generations. Yeah, generations, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lakini, sani kwa Ah, nili shituk? Iko kabambi na murefu kabisa. Big and tall, kome geyon. And at night, its big red circular light reaches out to touch the sky. Oh, c'est magnifique, les gars. Lakini, Look on our dear Yomubaya son, eh? as if it was rotting, eh? dying from the inside. And that smell got worse the closer we got to, to the core, which is like a, a giant telescope reaching out to the sky. But it is a sky that is looking at you. Ah. Bon, when you arrived at the core, jamais dans ma vie, les gars, ah. I had never seen anything like it. There was a mountain inside the tower. And this mountain was made up of years and years of things that people don't want. Huh? Uh, garbage bags, wood, metal appliances, all joined together to make one pile. C'était à peu près 10 to 14 floors high. Moi, les restes, les gars, who were they now? Overalls, hmm? boots, masks, gloves, and the helmet with the light. And the management tell us, ah, you have to move this mountain with your hands. C'était tellement dégueulasse, les gars. Hein? Il avait split garbage bags, hein? used condoms in the mud, decomposing nappies, metal appliances, rotten mattresses. Et puis un de mes collègues en train de crier Hé, hey, on me dit bon, on me donne, on me dit bon, on me donne, hé, 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 Charles Body. <laughs> les gars, the body was so small, and the bones were so thin, and the spine, it was so long. Ah, 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 it's a cat, c'est un chat, c'était pas une personne. Bon, les gars, je suis rentré encore à ma poste. Hein. J'étais en train de continuer à travailler. Et puis il y a deux secondes, the light on my helmet shines on something that catches my eye. I slowly pull it out. And there it was. A golden Rolex watch. In the things thrown away. Imaginez un peu pour des secondes, les gars. Hein? Hein? A gangster and a drug lord, face à face. Hein? Guns blazing, jewelry flying, and then this watch escaping through the window, falling down like a shooting star, only to be swallowed by the core. Et moi, trésor, finding it. Ah. Ah. Non, c'est la vérité. Ah. Why must I bring my watch in front of you? Do you want me to hide the gun? Do I want to die? Ah. Let's just start talking.
Look, what you've got to understand, yeah, that it's both a really specific act of violence and also just one more act of violence in our whole history of acts of violence against us. I was early doors, 1975. We used to play here, knock down ginger, and we could roller skate right through. It was Evan, you know? It's like New York. We'd never let our neighbours go hungry. We was all hustlers, grafters. It pisses me off that they think we're all sitting there scratching our balls. On the night of the fire, when the fire engine people came, they didn't even know what floors to go to because they'd renumbered the floors. They went to the wrong floor sometimes. They were told to tell people to stay put. That was the protocol. And so if you were someone who was obedient or who trusted an authority to do their job properly or who had hope that the systems would be functional, if you were meek, if you were confused, because English ain't your first language, if you made that decision to stay put, that's you done. Alhamdulillah, if it wasn't for Ramadan, we'd be in a lot worse of a position. Because a lot of the mans, they was coming back from Al Manar Mosque at the time the fire broke out. So they was able to guide people and call them and tell them to get out and talk to the fire brigade on the ground. And in some cases, just talk to people until they weren't talking back anymore. Then days. Sometimes weeks later, we found out what happened to them. And even today, there's still 50-odd families who haven't been rehoused probably because, you know, someone who escaped off the 21st floor maybe don't want to be rehoused in a flat on the 21st floor, you know? And it took them so long to cover up the tower, which was literally staring down at us like a ghoul, staring down at the kids in the playground. And then when they finally did cover it up, they covered it in white. And that just felt emblematic of the way in which the whole community had really been disrespected. Because all that they had asked for was that it be covered in green. Green for Grenfell. We, uh, we lost one of our kids, um, Mehdi. He was in year three. Yeah, um, I had two really good friends who died. Um, Yasin, Allah yirham, he was the Dahak, he was a joker. And, um, Deja, she was like, she was this brilliant artist. She even had her work exhibited in Venice at the Biennale. And that seems to be really challenging for people who have some kind of fixed view about this community, about who we were, who we are. Yeah, and what's happening now is we've got this reputation for being difficult, aggy, non-cooperative, for shouting over, for not listening. Which is ridiculous because we was all languages mm. and all religions living in unity. Neighbour for neighbour, friend for friend. And that tower was a magical place. I mean, it had its problems, but my friend's dad, he used to grow trees in there. Like real fruit trees used to grow in there. It was Jannah, it was, it was paradise. And what I'm doing is airing nails, free airing nails for the community. <laughs> Look, it ain't therapy, but you have fierce nails. It helps you fight, it helps you keep your head on, you know? What? Who do I blame? Really, you want the whole list? It goes from the top to the bottom, all the way through the cake of society. David Cameron, Boris, Theresa. Cuts to the fire service, cuts to the health and safety, cuts to housing benefit revenues, cuts to maintenance grants. Oh, and rock filled in melon. I don't know. I know some posh people. I don't, I don't mind posh people. You know, it's not their fault they're posh. Well, some of them are nice. <laughs> Prince Harry, for example. But this lot? It's like they already made their minds up about us. They don't even know us. But I've got to say, as a youth, as a Muslim youth, don't underestimate us. Because we have so much knowledge and so much insight and we really understand this community and we've awoken. We're awake. We're alive. And we're angry. We're hurting, but we're working. You know, we can 
can argue good as lawyers now. Some of us, we're going to be lawyers. We can argue better than politicians because we speak the people's language. We understand what happened and we can explain it. We won't forget, you know. We don't forget. Don't forget. We don't forget. Yambi, 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 mama. Nazama, lab, nazama, lab, no more. Nazami, bongo, yo, bongo, yo, kini, zali. Ah oui, je suis là, 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 Eh, a problème. Ce qui est beaucoup là, non, mais ça problème. Il y a bien ça, Boni Benedite, Azandeni, Azan bien, Daniela, Ruth, Emmanuel, Boni Papa, Azan Malam. Ok, que ça va moins bien sur Bambote, Bambote Ming. Ok, Bambote Ming est belle, belle, la nuit bien au fort. Ok, de bonnes choses. Yambi, bisous, ciao. Eu chego em Porto Alegre e eu não toco. Eu não faço nenhuma amizade. E ninguém me convida para sair. Me mudo para Florianópolis, Ilha da Magia. Como diz os manezinhos, coisa mais linda. Festa, praia, mar, ondas, mulheres lindas, Floripa. Casa em frente à lagoa. Mas, em frente à minha casa, tem um ponto de ônibus. Eu desço para pegar o ônibus, os motoristas sempre passam reto por mim. E quando que eu faço sinal? Ele não me viu, porque não me viu, porque eles não querem me ver. E mudo para São Paulo. A chegada é ótima. Eu estou morando num bairro top, legal. Cinco minutos da Paulista. Mas, sem dinheiro... Economia acabando, desempregado. Foi ali, eu fui procurar emprego. Na fila do trabalho, tinha uns caras que estavam ali comentando, esse bando de haitianos chega aqui para roubar nossos empregos. Logo que eu faço uma amizade, a pessoa quer saber, quando que você vai embora mesmo? Poxa vida, tu me conhe... logo me conheceu já, tu quer, tu quer saber quando que eu vou embora? Tu está me expulsando? Eu quero ficar. Mas, desempregado... A economia está acabando, sem dinheiro. Foi ali que o meu amigo, Trezor Muteba, me levou para a Ocupação 9 de Julho, que faz parte do movimento de Sem Teto do Centro de São Paulo. É um movimento de trabalhadores de baixa renda, pessoas que não têm condições para pagar o aluguel. 
e ocupa prédios abandonados. Sabia que aqui em São Paulo tem mais prédios vazios do que pessoas, famílias, sem teto, sem casa? Ali eu fui muito bem recebido, arrumei meu espaço onde eu estou. Todos colaboraram. Agora eu estou aqui tomando suco de laranja com meus amigos, e quando de repente apareceu um morador de rua, ele queria vender um par de tênis para nós, mas na verdade tinha a mesma cor, não era par de tênis, porque da esquerda era Nike, da direita era Puma. Diz ele, ô oh, gringo, eu faço 15 para vocês. A gente se olhou e falou, mano, você está louco, mano? Tu pensa que tu vai enganar nós? Ele, não, eu faço 15 para vocês, tá bom. Ah, vai, vai, vai. Dá cinco aí só para o irmão tomar cachaça. A gente falou, não, tu queria enganar nós, agora não vem que não tem. Ele, poxa, eu sou cachaça. Aí, de repente, ele colocou a mão na cabeça e começou a gritar, olha o fogo, olha o fogo, olha o fogo. A gente se olhou novamente falou, não, realmente esse cara está doidão. Só que ali do, do outro lado da rua tinha um policial que estava ali fazendo vigia. O policial estava descendo na mesma direção que o cara tinha apontado e fazendo uma ligada. Foi ali que a gente entendeu que tinha alguma coisa errada. Pagamos nossa conta e fomos lá para ver o que estava acontecendo. Ao chegar lá, era a ocupação Paysandu, o fogo estava no sétimo andar e ali no local tinha carro de bombeiro e acho que tinha quatro ou cinco. Agora eu não me recordo mais bem. Ele estava ali arrumando mangueira, arrumando os bagulhos para combater o fogo, mas parece que tinha pouca água e eles não fizeram nada. Ele estava esperando o reforço que sairia ali da Praça Princesa Elizabeth, o posto de bombeiro. Naquela hora, meia-noite, não tinha engarrafamento, então era a coisa mais rápida, acredito eu, para eles chegar até combater o fogo. Mas demoraram para chegar. Até eles chegaram, eles tentaram combater o fogo, já era tarde. O prédio desabou. No dia seguinte, as autoridades brasileiras tentaram culpabilizar, criminalizar os movimentos sociais. started as a normal day. People dropping their kids off at school, grabbing their coffee, going to work. I was 12 years old and 144 miles from New York City, 366 miles away from Washington, D.C., and 439 miles away from Shanksville, Pennsylvania. These were all locations where the planes hit. World Trade Center stood in the heart of New York City, in the financial district, a collection of seven buildings with two that were larger than life, the Twin Towers. Each measured at 414 and 411 meters tall, the World Trade Center. This name held with it both literal and symbolic representation. You see, it was, it was and still is the center of global trading for the entire world, the place through which most all of this global trading traveled, a touchstone of enormous power, New York City. On this normal day, summer was wearing off of the city, but by the end of it, 2,996 people would lose their lives. Countless others lost their lives years later as a result of cancer and respiratory disease. 
the ripples of this normal day, what was supposed to be this normal day, are still being felt all over the world. The U.S. is a country made up of immigrants. People who came from somewhere else to be here. At 12 years old, I had no idea the effect that September 11th would have on the rest of the world. Borders closed after this day. Policies changed after this day. Viewpoints and relationships shifted after this day. We forgot that we were a country made up of immigrants. People who came here from somewhere else. On this day, we saw immigrants as people to be feared. At 12 years old, I couldn't comprehend or understand that the supposed values that the leaders of this country claimed, this country in which I was born, these were abandoned on September 11th. And 18 years later, it would make this type of rhetoric possible. We have people coming into the country or trying to come into the country. We're stopping a lot of them, but we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people, these are animals. They're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some I assume are good people. I know what you're going through with families is tough, but those are the bad laws. We have to break up families. The Democrats gave us that law. It's a horrible thing that we have to break up families. These aren't people. These are animals. How are we going to move forward? And what is our story going to be? Can we finally find a way to live true to this? Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed, to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. What is our story going to be? Excelling about three. Mzimba wa mose looks shisa and jay. I was feeling uncomfortable. Meng papa mang not to suit a high man, ye mans. Besting tin this point, Elisa Slala goose and not to suit you. O kindly send us a camille foot. Yimpia Michang and Michang Jalo less so glunky and gets a looking at trial. Gim cumule, in keepy sheet, pegger spongy. Gildali plastic in getting Dale Itaula Pezu, Nimusella Lala Vela as the mega same time. Nsele gave me look tongue of Amse Pelle, Ellen Gibuga, Le Sponging at Abang Itias, Nelini Langa, Nsazaning at Holy Mile, Nizos Tata Le Sponging, Nios Chicella let down the call, Gobang and Pella Nizongas at the same cartel, like who could he map you on Capella Manja, go by the elegant. Who sent I long such Julie Legum Abang Wami? Ube kona is tunes, a sing tiga misisai. And it takes umzuzu for umkondo wa mugutu register guti hai man umu untu pela lo. It is a person who is falling into the core. Mabanga. We puti ki chelu guti ngatu ma same time. As kesi tu peti class a sante nsaku. And we aibu nu guti ya shible la uya kuma. Guna lete ye reflex we aibu mele. Ngoba ufu nu guti opata zega pants. Nga kuma kwa Losisi wa isese moye ene ngange ngsa kwa zuguti ngimbame. So ngabele ngatula ngama ngambugu siso bante hambe yo shabala lebu mnyameni. Ito ea ngtinda nga losisi uguti. Agaza nga za memese ngengati ewa. I mean I couldn't see ubu soba ke kwa inje la umzimba wake wafele wa teteleka ngayo kwa nga zati nje uznigele. We are so good, Yabo Manching Yaham and Sonic Fenwam and Eglunki and Kulegi. Why cogging Gubemyam? Leon Guboya Velea Kukuma Lagwangas at the parachute. Nyatella Alonso, so this woman had found peace. Utolu Tula Ep Fenwak Nasa Langai Bosuguti Nesenjan Um Undo Amfutuya Bosuguti. Where are her people? 
Shuti aga seko no yeto ancho umuntu obe nga mfimba lo sisu kuchi. Anga yezi lenda funu genzi. Yazi nga vele nga shwa kega, nga kela, nga suga la nga nyikoni, nga krosi fleti, nga vuli ketini. Nga bugi nga nyezi zetu. Man kuluma nga nga nyezi nga kuluma nga leibani lese ziskani sela yepsu. Nga banjalo leibani zi apkani nsa lo bunyame spila guzi. Nga bi impilo zetu bafetu ziko elubu mnyama. Nga timengi mile lapo, nga ibuzu kuti ngenze nchani. Ngifone la mapoisa, ngibizo makeluani, ngfusu mama, ngenze nchani, ngibizu ambulansi, ngitinde bani. But I couldn't do anything. Aguko enga ngwazu kwenza, so I just stood there, ngama, ngoma, just standing there. Ngibuga, the lights just melting into the sunrise. O tempo da matador, o tempo da matador, precisando exercitar paz e amor, precisando exercitar paz e amor, o exército da matador, o exército da matador, você tá bem? Devo de estar. Dá-me água, dá-me a lata, dá-me tudo que tens. Dá-me água, dá-me a lata, dá-me tudo que tens. Abraça o diabo e dá o pão que ele amassou, que ele amassou. Abraça o diabo e dá o pão que ele amassou, que ele amassou. Língua finina, dou-te o sangue de assalto. Língua finina, dou-te o sangue de assalto. Perigo, menina, sangue frio no asfalto. Perigo, menina, sangue frio no asfalto. O tempo tá matador. O tempo tá matador. Precisando exercitar paz e amor. Precisando exercitar paz e amor. O exército tá matador. I have books and books and books and books of drawings of that tower that the children did because they needed to keep drawing, keep drawing exactly what happened. And the accuracy of their drawings is just, it's just crazy. It's like they all understood somehow or exactly even how the fire spread. They all knew. And I have never spent so much money on art supplies as I have in the past 18 months because we had to keep drawing it out. We've used so much glitter making memories for Mehdi. Uh, I have this wonderful little boy called Carlton who is obsessed with elephants and he's really very good at drawing elephants and he drew me this whole picture book about how the elephants from Whipsonade Zoo, uh, Donna, Emmett, Luca, Karishma, Kaylee, Sam and Elizabeth, how these elephants would come and stand on each other's backs and they'd fill up their trunks with water and spray it at the tower to put out the fire. And then they'd hurry down to the canal and fill their trunks up with more water to spray at the tower. It really thought it through which elephants would stand on which elephants' backs and the elephant's ears were providing coolness and sanctuary for the people who had been burned. And the elephants were charging down to the hospitals with the people because the, the roads were blocked. And, and this is a little boy who had been evicted from his flat and was having to come in on the bus every day. And was also trying to understand why his friend Mehdi was dead. 
and uh, why Mehdi's whole family was dead. You can, you can feel that the legacy of this is so immense that it is going to last for generations, that the, the bodies of these children have been changed irrevocably, that, that once your body has seen, has, has felt something like that, well, it changes you forever. Femini Masibuko Gender Male and Female Reason for Visit Wedding Da Den Tegele Da Den Tegele Da Den Tegele Sanma Morena Buna Buhari Application name? Uh, Chris Adibayo. Miriam Myatt. Passport number? A0347629. A0646523. Country of nationality? South, South African. African. Date of birth? 22nd of January? 1995. Gender? Female. Male. Type of visa? Travel. Travel. Duration of visit? Two, Two weeks. weeks. Date you will arrive in the UK? 13th of March? Departure from the UK? 27th of March. 
Will you be traveling to the UK with someone that is not your partner, spouse, and or dependent? No. no. Main reason for your visit? Well, my dad I has mean, got me tickets it, to like, watch Chelsea and Manchester United, United like live at Stamford Bridge. And then and all the in the UK is like amazing. Like, imagine big Ben, big ben timing. timing. Like, bang, 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 bang. Oh my god, and then fucking a palace. At the chasing of the gods, yeah. Having tea with the queen. Queen's break seven. In either peace or war time, have you by any means expressed views that justify or glorify terrorist hate crimes, crimes against men, or mass genocide within or out of this country? Have you ever been involved in or supported Have you ever been involved that in or suspected of crime or criminal act within or out of this country, sir? Have you ever been a member of or been involved Please in state the organizations, organizations that you have in this country under? whatsoever? Uh, no. Have you by any means, in sir, the war time, have expressed you been involved views in that justify or glorify terrorists, act crimes of criminal violence and or mass genocide? genocide? No! no. Gender, country of nationality, <laughs> passport number, type of visa, main reason for your visit. <laughs> Meu visto é de refugiado, meu passaporte é do Congo. Ninguém refugia pela própria vontade, mas sim por medo, por obrigação e por medo de perder a única coisa mais preciosa que temos, que se chama a vida. No dia da eleição, pessoas foram votar contra o presidente e foram votar com livros na mão. E mais tarde, dos resultados, os vizinhos próximos à nossa moradia ficaram xingando nós. Agora vocês vão se fuder, seus bandidos. Cadê a harmonia? Cadê o povo unido? Mas eu devo confessar que a única vez, a única vez que eu vi a harmonia aqui no nosso país foi no samba. Ao chegar no samba eu vi que todo mundo estava unido. Tinha o preto, o azul, o amarelo, o branco, o vermelho, o verde, todo mundo estava junto, unido, abraçado. Pessoas que nem se conhecia, tá? E todo mundo junto cantando aquela linda música. 
Non, des samba Non, des samba kabar. Umboru, perfeito de samba. Dis samba pra gente samba. Non, des samba morrer. Non, des choses sans bacabar. Moro fait fête de samba. De samba pour la gente. Samba. Pena qui souffre à l'île de samba qui vit harmonie. It never occurred to him to learn it himself. I go to my motherland and I think osmotically, or maybe because of genetics, I will somehow be able to wrap my tongue around the guttural sound. We'll, we'll be, be able, able to laugh with my cousins. We'll, we'll be, be able, able to access the culture, sing the popular songs. My brain is an English brain, empirical, left to right. Roman. All of the squiggles and curly cues confuse me. I try to make the sounds and I sound like and I want to wretch out another me who's fluent who slips between worlds like an amphibian easy more than the sum of my parts my tongue the reflection of my heart run run Babylon it's a hostile environment my dad voted leave thinking it would make him feel like he got his country back but then it felt like overnight our town was overrun with Polish and Romanian people they drink in the streets but even pissed neo-Nazis like Pakistani food, right? Run, run, Babylon! It's a hostile environment. He voted leave, not realizing it would be him who be told to leave. Paki, go home. We live together. We eat together. Really? At least we are Pakis. These EDL people think all brown people are Pakis. That's what life is all about. My baby, she fell through the window. <laughs> I thought that her head would be split. Why don't they make a proper ice cream? But good luck was with her that morning. Yes, Cause she fell in the bucket of shaving cream. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and you'll always be clean. Alright. Ça mourir un peu. Ça mourir un peu. Ça mourir un peu. First gradually. Then I came back. And now, I'm gone forever. But the house is still there. I'm stuck to it. It's the only place I have known from birth till old age. It's not only my life, it's also my soul. Even the tiniest bit of paper evokes a sharp memory. Will the house collapse after me? Most probably. But so will I. People after me will throw everything on the container. But I won't see it. I won't be there anymore. It's always the same, but never as I remember it. It's always summer in my memory. It's always hot and then missing. My brother's graduation, my grandma's funeral. Could probably don't make any changes without me. Could probably stay the same. Could probably be the same as my memory. Could probably keep the bike right. The chicken from the market on a Wednesday. Yo, 
your safety and security are important to us. Please focus on this important message to ensure your safety and security. In the event of no deal, everyone should probably panic. The plane will latch rapidly to the right. The safety masks will not be functional and the life vests will be out of stock. Sterling will plunge. In the event of renegotiation, the plane will circle ineffectually for several weeks. We will probably run out of peanuts, the sick bags will be overflowing, Sterling will plunge. In the event of another referendum, all immigrants and people of colour should brace, brace, because it's going to get ugly. The plane will lurch rapidly to the right and Sterling will plunge. In the event of a general election, private donors will ensure that the plane lurches to the right. The oppositional co-pilot will be gagged. In the event of a renegotiation, the bureaucraties pursuant to Article 50, etc., etc., Norway, Canada, backstop, etc., etc., tariffs, etc., etc., will bore and confuse the electorate into nihilism. <laughs> the plane will lurch rapidly to the right. The lights marking the safety exits here, here and here will not be operational. The safety masks will not be <laughs> operational. <laughs> and Sterling will plunge. <laughs> Thank you for choosing to fly with Tresemme Airlines. <laughs> The airline for citizens of nowhere. <laughs>
birds tooting for an open mic singing. I got on the tube and my mind was saying, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. My chest was pounding so hard, I thought I was going to die beneath that crap. Something programs your brain to keep you small. It happened to me. I can't believe it happened to me. It was almost as if I was stuck. But I did it, I got through it. You have to break through it. You have to break through it. Chegamos para ensaiar essa peça, agora, 2019, São Paulo. Anteontem, uma amiga minha se jogou da janela do prédio. Se espatifou na calçada. Pela pressão desses tempos, por não suportar mais ser anulada dentro de casa, pela própria família, por ser hostilizada nas ruas, por amar a mulher dela. Mais uma vítima desse Brasil sombrio, não brilhante, não verão, como se espalha mundo afora. A gente ficou falando sobre isso, sobre como se manter são, sobre como apoiar e, de alguma maneira, proteger quem está na linha de tiro, por fazer parte desse ou daquele grupo contra os quais os ódios estão apontados. E aí a gente meio leso, meio... No fim do ensaio, vem a notícia que Jean Willis se exilou do país. E o presidente comemorou nas redes sociais. Modo que atender, esfaqueado, por falar a opinião dele. Marielle Franco. Em 2015, eu estive com o Jean Willis em Brasília, a convite da Frente Nacional pela Legalização do Aborto. E eu muito emocionada de estar ali junto com aquelas mulheres que eu já admirava há muito tempo, naquele lugar louco, aquela arquitetura magnífica, brigando com aquele ambiente insalubre, tenebroso aqueles homens políticos de sempre, com os filhos homens de sempre, com os netos homens de sempre. O PL não passou. O que a gente está fazendo? Quando líderes precisam se exilar da sua cidade, do seu país, dependendo do dinheiro que tem ou que não tem para passagem, para ir para um lado e para o outro, pretos e pobres desde sempre, Racismo institucional, polícia, genocida, mercado extra no Rio de Janeiro. O que a gente está fazendo? Muitos direitos e conquistas estão morrendo agora, sendo enterrados, enquanto a gente está aqui, nesse teatro. Débora Diniz, também exilada, ameaçada de morte por pessoas pró-vida. Democracia tropical, a... Seguimos separados por muros, governados pelos que constroem esses muros. E a vontade e o esforço de derrubá-los vem de todas as direções, como o vento.
with you.